Today on Photo Walks TV, we are continuing our California Highway 1 road trip and we're stopping into the small town of Cambria where the pines meet the sea. Come check it out. You've all heard of Big Sur. It's one of the most epic drives in the world. The only snag is it's really, really windy and can take hours to complete. So how about Little Sur? That's how I refer to Cambria, a little small town about 20 minutes south, which has much of the same dramatic scenery that you're gonna see for miles and miles and miles, plus some elephant seals, maybe some zebras, some dramatic sunsets right here at Moonstone Beach, and a cute little small town with historic shops and buildings. And do you like pie? Because they got some pretty amazing pie in Cambria. Let's go explore Cambria, come on. Cambria visit is pretty simple. Walk through the cute downtown, enjoy the coast, hike, and take some pretty cool photos. And before we get cracking, here is a vital travel photography tip for all of you. You see what people are photographing before you come here. Check out the stock photo sites. Look at the local postcards when you get here, and I can go one step further. Visit the tourism office. We are better than the internet. We are better than the review sites. We know what's going on. We know what's good. We know what you, what you don't want to miss. You know, one of the joys of travel photography is sharing your experience with others. And once in a while, you can even help pay the expenses by selling prints of your work. Really. Once you get to familiarize yourself with the location, hopefully you're going to get some awesome shots that could hang in people's homes. I know I sell my work via Smug Mug, the sponsor of this series. The portfolio plan gives you backup as well as great looking photo galleries and the ability to sell prints directly to customers. They click a button, the order goes to the lab, which ships it out and you collect the rewards. Food for thought as we begin this photo walk together. Let's get cracking. Cambria is one of the great old California towns where time has thankfully stood still. You won't find any McDonald's or Starbucks lining the streets. All the businesses are locally owned. Cambria is unique in that it has two old downtowns, a west and east side. Now we will start in the west at the chamber and then stroll this side of town by the galleries, antique shops, and food stops. Then the east, which we have to drive to, has the oldest building in town, still standing over 100 years, and those pies, which you're gonna hear more about later. From there, we're gonna hop in the car again and make several stops. First, Fiscalini Ranch is a must for hiking. It has some pretty amazing views and that iconic wooden tree chair shot. Now, the place is a little hard to find as it's kind of unmarked. Just drive down Windsor Boulevard until it ends. Opening, this really beautiful opening in Fiscalini Ranch, and it's just, you have all the pine trees, and then right past the pine trees, you just get that great view of the ocean right behind it. So it's really where the pines meet the sea. Moonstone Beach is next for the mile-long boardwalk that looks awesome at sunrise and sunset and overlooks the dramatic Little Sur coastline. There are motels lined up and down on the other side offering places to sleep across from the sea. Then head north to the Elephant Seals Rookery. Photo tip, there are so many seals, you could easily capture them on your smartphone even though you are held back quite a ways from them. Now you'll do best if you have one of the newer phones with a good zoom lens to get even closer. The ornate Hearst Castle is right up the road and those zebras you heard about are kind of right before you get there. How to find them? Just drive up Highway 1 and when you see a bunch of cars on the side of the road, there are the zebras. And finally, you can either catch this while in Cambria or en route to Big Sur, but the Piedras Blancas Lighthouse is a fun stop and note that the only way you can get a photo of it is by taking the tour, which just meets a few times a week. Now, it was certainly worth it for me and our friends at the chamber highly recommend it too for photos. There are the Piedras Blancas, the white rocks there, and often the waves are so strong out at sea that you'll just get these fantastic smashing waves against the rock and it makes you feel like just such a professional because these photos you just can't lose it's fantastic if you just wait long enough 
you will get one of those big waves. And her recommendation for best sunset is naturally Moonstone Beach. Along the boardwalk along Moonstone Beach, there are more, a few more trees and things like that. So you can get some different pretty photos beautiful greenery. And then Leffingwell Landing is at the north end, and that's a really wonderful spot to see a sunset. The landing is at the tail end of Moonstone Beach. Just make your way there either by foot or car. Pick your best spot. Depends on where the sun is setting, right? Now, I was advised to go up the hill for an overhead view, and I took both stills and a time-lapse video. Time-lapses are really easy on a smartphone. Just open up a tripod, stick the phone into a tripod adapter, which you can pick up for like 10 bucks on Amazon. A good time-lapse is at least 30 minutes or so, and you can't handhold it, and that's why you need a tripod. Press record, let it roll, and you will watch the day turn into night. One more pro tip. Stay there for at least 15 or 20 minutes after the sun's gone down. That's when most people get in their cars and drive away. But if you stay, you're often rewarded with a beautiful sunset. An even more beautiful sunset. Yes. Right. Be sure to return the next morning and climb off the paved walkway straight into the sands for some cool beach shots. And if the waves are in your favor, some pretty aggressive action. And about those pies I alluded to in a town of just about 6,000 residents, a local institution, Linz. It has four shops selling all kinds of pies. The best seller is aloe berry, and it's made to order right here in Cambria. If you can't visit, they'll send it to you in dry ice. Photo tip recap time. Of course, start at the chamber for directions. You'll want to go to Moonstone Beach first. Sunsets are best here, especially on a day with clouds. Get a nice shot of the walkway, water and clouds, and remember to keep your camera steady and have the horizon line in check. The sunsets don't all have to be at Leffingwell Landing. The many viewpoints at Moonstone are pretty cool too. Come back the next morning and catch the muted colors on the sand and rocks. Catch the morning waves, but if you have a high tide, please stand far enough away so you don't get swept in. The money shot at Fiscalini Ranch is the bench made from a tree, and it's located on Bluff Trail overlooking Otter Cove. Also, there are great shots of the sea from all over. In town, capture some of the old buildings. The historic chapel up the hill is really popular, as well as the Nitwit Building. Stop for some pie, and when photographing them through the glass, remember to put your phone right atop it to minimize reflections. For the elephant seals, shoot with the wide lens to capture the enormity of the crowd because getting a close-up is going to be really tough. You'll need a phone with a decent telephoto like a late model iPhone or Galaxy, but you won't get nearly as close as I did with my Sony RX10 IV camera. For the zebras, again, they are up the road near Hearst Castle. Unless the zebras come right up to you, which is unlikely, you'll also need a camera for this shot. Again, my Sony really came in handy here. Continuing north, the lighthouse is only accessible via a tour, and even then, they will let you inside, but only to the bottom floor. You can't climb up to the tower. Don't let that discourage you, however. The 100-plus-year-old building is worth peeking up the stairs. The exterior is beautiful, and the neighboring crashing waves shouldn't be missed. You're in the heart of Little Sur here. Savor it and take it in. Just a few miles up the road, and it's going to get even more dramatic. Big Sur country. So that's Cambria. Remember, it's about a half hour up the way from San Luis Obispo, 20 minutes south of Ragged Point, the beginning of Big Sur, and just an amazing place for photographs and enjoying dramatic scenery. Questions, concerns? Look for me on Twitter or Instagram, where I'm at Jefferson Graham, or leave them right below. Guys and gals, I'll see you on the next photo walk. Bye-bye. Next time on Photo Walks, we are heading north to Big Sur, so please come back and stay tuned. Thank you.